Well, it's raining here in Wilmington today, so that means I'm gonna bring y'all another video. Today, we're gonna talk about my favorite flounder rig for inshore fishing. I guarantee you, if you start fishing this rig, that you will catch more flounder. Stay tuned. All right, guys, so the rig we're going to talk about today is the float rig. Um, there's a lot of different ways to, to rig up a float rig um, and different floats and, and different styles of float fishing. Uh, but this is just a great way to fish and cover water for flounder. A lot of people inshore, near shore, offshore flounder fishing, um, you know, fishing deep structure in the inlets, they're fishing Carolina rigs a lot of times. They're knocker rigs, so a sinker, a swivel, a hook, you know, a leader and then a hook and, and your bait which is a great way to fish, but when you're fishing shallow water inshore, uh, you know, a lot of times you want to cover water. You want to keep moving through a creek. And fishing a float rig it really allows you to do that. It's a very simple rig uh, that, that I really think will open up a lot of, of doors for you as far as inshore fishing goes. This does not just work for flounder. It works for speckled trout, it works for redfish, but, but this is a rig that really, really uh, upped my, my flounder numbers as far as inshore fishing goes uh, when I started fishing it. And I really started fishing it for trout at first and I realized wow this works so well for flounder so all it is is a clamp float and I had a lot of y'all ask when I talked about this on the podcast uh, what are you talking about as far as a clamp float goes so you can pick these up at Intercoastal Angler really any tackle shop um, I have different sizes I've got a size that's a little bit bigger than this I've got a, a, a circle size float that's a little bit smaller than this um, but really this is this is just a simple clamp float and it's like your classic like brim bobber that you would use as a kid but you push on it, it's got these small little uh, metal pieces that come out and will clamp your line in. And I only will use a clamp float if I'm fishing, you know, four, four and a half feet of line or less from my float to my hook. Once I'm over that, it's such a pain to cast, I start going with a, with a slip float rig. And I'll do a video on the slip floats as well, but that's another great, great way to fish a float in deeper water. But in four and a half to four feet and less, a clamp floats just fine. I mean, you can't you can't you know really whip your cast. You got to kind of come back and slowly throw it forward. Um, and for that reason, I like to fish a medium light rod, maybe a seven foot medium light, just something that you can use all forward momentum and really lob your cast out there. Uh, but I'm going to break down. Oh, I put that on there upside down. I'm going to break down this rig for y'all. So I like to do two pulls of fluorocarbon leader. So two full arm spans, one and two, and I like to use the top knot. Whoops, the top knot leader here um, by Yozuri. It's just a really great leader. I haven't had any real breaking issues. My buddies at Intercoastal Angler have turned me onto this and I will not throw anything else from now on. But two pulls of leader, and you can do less than that, but that's, that's what I like to do. Um, I uni that to my braid and then I come in and I've got my leader on. So I'll tie my hook. I like to use, this is a Gamagatsu hook. It's the inline octopus circle one knot hook. Now, if I'm fishing larger bait, sometimes I'll jump that hook size up a little bit just so that hook is exposed. But 90% of the time inshore, this is my bait fishing hook. Um, it's an inline, so it's not it's not for snelling. It's just a straight inline hook there. This is an old pack. Most of my my uh, uh, terminal tackle like this is on my larger boat, and that is not here. So I'm, I'm making do with what I had laying around. But um, uh, number one inshore is what I like to use, one off. So after that, in, instead of using a, an egg weight or, or a bullet weight or any other type of weight that you might see on a float rig, I like to use these clamp on uh, split shots. What I like about the split shot is I can very quickly and easily without cutting my leader, taking my hook off or anything, I can add weight and take weight off. And so depending upon the size of my bait or the depth I'm trying to get my bait down at, uh, I can change that up. So usually two to three split shots is perfect for like a, a normal, you know, late summer mullet that might be three to five inches long. Um, and, and I'll usually start out with two. If I feel like I'm not on the bottom, I'll go three. And what I like to do is I like to, there, there's kind of two thoughts. Sometimes I like my bait to be, or my leader to be just long enough to where my, my, bait, or my weights are barely dragging on the bottom. Other times I like it to be set where my bait is just off the bottom. But you know, you can definitely, if you've got heavy current, let that, that leader be a little bit longer and kind of drag through an area. Um, so what I'll do is, you know, I'll set that, that uh, float on here now according to the depth. So come up about three or four feet here. Um, and there, all these floats, you definitely want floats that have a weight inset in the bottom of them. So that goes on the bottom. And this just keeps your float floating correctly. 
Um, and a, a float that's actually floating correctly is going to tell you a lot more about what that um, or how that bait's actually working across the bottom, where your line's going, if it's up current or down current. And I kind of like the the float to be ahead of it, ahead of the bait in the current, and the bait to be just kind of barely ticking, just just off the bottom behind it. Um, so you'll you'll clamp this on here, just like this. And the reason I like to fish 20 pound and nothing lighter is because when you put these floats on here, they do kink this line a little bit. Um, as you can see, it goes around that float instead of through it, like on a slip float. And so if you fish a really, really light leader and hook a big fish, there's a chance that you could pop it off. With 20 pound, I've never lost a fish um, on a clamp float. So just to break that down for you again, I've got my circle hook at the bottom. I come up for my circle hook about four inches, three inches. I put my split shots, usually two or three. Uh, and you know you can add more or less depending upon what you think is gonna get your bait down to where you want it. Um, and then I set my leader and I can constantly change this. And I'll usually sit there with the split shots in my pocket, whether my clients are on the bow or if I'm on the bow. That way I can change the weight, you know, simply myself. Um, and like I said, just a just a just kind of a lob cast of this because you've got a really, really long leader. Um, so a medium light really helps kind of use that tip to throw that cast out there. Um, what's your, the way I like to fish this uh, is either staked out in a creek Casting it, letting it drift through an area, reeling it in. Casting it, letting it drift through an area, reeling it in. Or what I think is really, really effective is if you're on the trolling motor, you can work through a creek, pitch this bait up to the edge, up to the bank, or wherever you want it to, to, to fish, and follow that bait with your trolling motor. So you can fish that float uh, and bait for a long time and really kind of key in on where these fish are actually sitting and hanging out. And don't be surprised when you hook a redfish or a trout Covering the water this time of year is key. It's hot. You know, these fish aren't as quite as aggressive as they, they are in the cooler months. And so finding those fish that are wanting to eat is very important. And this float rig will definitely help you do that. Well, guys, I hope this really, really helped uh, and kind of open your eyes to some new styles of fishing, a new way to fish bait for flounder, for redfish, for trout. This is mostly focusing on flounder right now. Uh, if you did enjoy this video, please, please press the thumbs up button. It definitely helps the videos that I'm making uh, be found on YouTube. Um, subscribe to the channel and I'll see you on the next one. Later.